But with the lectures by me, such as this one on architecture and design resources, my plan is to flip the classroom so that students review the material in advance and then use it in class for an exercise. In addition to the exercises, I need to introduce interesting hyperlinks in the lectures themselves. I've heard of the idea of chunking, a word choice I really dislike, which I think means breaking the topic into small, digestible segments. There is a variety of assignments in the form of essays that consist mostly of comparative analyses of core reference materials, such as encyclopedias, biographical dictionaries, museum websites, periodical indexes, and core survey texts, such as this one, the eighth edition of Jansen's History of Art. Each student is assigned a different topic for each essay, from Contraposto to Le Corbusier's Ville Savoie. And I'm wondering whether these would be a good source of topics for threaded discussions. I'd like to be sure to add two online resources that have developed more recently. First, Khan Academy's Smart History and the Metropolitan Museum's Halburn Timeline of Art History. In-class presentations begin with a group project on the historiography of Robert Campin's Merod altarpiece. Next is a hypothetical information literacy session related to a real assignment requiring art information. And the third in-class presentation is a digital exhibition, such as this one on costume and set designs for the Belle Russe. The first presentation will stay as is, the hypothetical information literacy session will be supported by a lesson plan suggested by Sylvia, and the third is already submitted to a Dropbox and can be reviewed online. Practice sets are problem-based exercises asking students to search for information in recommended sources in order to answer specific art and design related questions. They might also be shared in the context of a threaded discussion. Does that sound advisable? The final project is either an annotated bibliography, a publication proposal, or an image database analysis, such as this example. The journal feature will augment the hybrid version of the course and allow students to record their research methodologies.